So what is good guys Adnan here, I decided to load up pixel experience on my oneplus nord and here are a couple of my very first impressions. Just as a disclaimer, this is by no means a finished ROM, thus making this video by no means a review of it either. This is one of the very first builds for a phone that launched less than a month ago, so huge props to the developers who are already hard at work. The installation process was quite straightforward, although you do have to jump through a few hoops since this is quite literally the very first ROM to exist for this phone. I leave a link to a guide down below with steps explained and good detail that you can follow. Let's begin with talking about the experience part about the Pixel Experience ROM. I've used this ROM many times as my daily driver on different phones before and I just love the stock feel that it brings. There isn't much to talk about Pixel Experience in terms of features, but you get a little control over the icons in your status bar and options within your quick toggles menu. The system-wide dark theme also seems to work without any issues, pair that with the stock Pixel wallpapers and you have quite the experience. Gesture navigation and the alert slider both work just fine and I noticed no bugs with the UI which is quite an accomplishment for such an early build. I was able to set up all of my apps no problem, Bluetooth worked flawlessly and so does the 90Hz refresh rate. Kind of. Ok let's start by shining some light on performance and it is quite the downgrade coming from Oxygen OS but this is something to be expected from a custom ROM this early on in its development. I encountered frame drops most of the time scrolling and switching between apps rendering the entire 90Hz feel of the Nord pretty much useless. The phone itself did keep apps in memory for long enough and launched new ones relatively quick but it was this frame drop issue that makes the experience very unpleasant. However, I am pretty sure that this will be fixed really soon in the coming few builds. The fingerprint scanner works well but is far from being perfect and is quite spotty when it comes to accuracy and speed. Also I did notice weird flickering with the screen whenever I put my thumb down to unlock the device. There also isn't any animation which distracts you away from the time it takes to unlock your phone making the process feel a tad bit more mechanical. While you get a camera app pre-installed with the ROM, it is a punishable offense to be using it. I leave a link below to a working Google camera APK for the OnePlus Nord that I have been using instead. Unfortunately, you can only really use two of the six cameras for now, but the results are not half bad. Hoping for support for the wide angle and macro lenses seems like a stretch for now, but yeah, the camera does work with the ROM and apps like Snapchat and Instagram have had no issues so far. Lastly, none of the off-screen gestures seem to be working in this build. Contrary to my nitpicking of bugs, this ROM is really impressive for the stock experience that it offers. Yes, the experience is hindered a lot by the constant frame drops, and lack of warp charge and a truly smooth 90Hz experience defeats the whole purpose of using a OnePlus Nord. However, as I stated previously, most of these bugs will be squashed in the coming few days. I would recommend keeping an eye on the official development page since the developer has been regular with the updates and vigilant at fixing all kinds of issues. Till then, that's been it, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next episode.